Finally tonight here, the daughter who was adopted decades ago, but who always wondered if she would meet her biological mother. Take a look at this photo, a baby girl named Connie, born in Indiana, May 12, 1949. She was adopted by a family in Southern California, here in the arms of her new father. Right in front, her bobbed hair, and through the years she would wonder about her biological mother. This is Connie now, on the right, her daughter with her arm around her. Her daughter buying her an Ancestry DNA kit, and it revealed a cousin, and it also revealed her mother's name. I said, well, here's my mother's given name. And she said, oh, that's my aunt. Oh, by the way, she's still alive. I'm like, oh my God. <sighs> and just days ago, waiting for her in a Tampa nursing home, Connie's biological mother, Genevieve Puritan, now 88, and watch her face. They hug. There were tears, and Genevieve revealing that she was 18 and wasn't married when she gave birth. And she says the hospital told her her baby had died. Her daughter Connie telling us that hospital is now gone and the doctor is no longer living, that they may never have the mystery solved. What they do know is that there was a time when there was a lot of secrecy around adoptions and young women who weren't married. Tonight, a daughter wiping away her mother's tears. And that mother, Genevieve, learning she has grandchildren and two great-grandchildren in college, Rose on the left, Fletcher on the right. And a family reunion with them all next month. Oh, what a holiday it will be for that family. I'm David Muir. I hope to see you right back here tomorrow. Good night. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.